Now, I'm going to be tying, basically it's a, it's a kind of pattern I like to tie. Uh, the problem we have at the moment is that the river is constantly getting, we're getting a lot of rain. Uh, it's not dropping as much as it would be at this time of year. So there's sort of nymphs I like to use, and this is one. Uh, the only difference that I'm tying, I'm actually going to tie it on a check nymph hook which you don't normally use, but I really like the shape of this hook and the strength of it, so I'm just going to tie this pattern on it. Normally I would tie it in a sort of bigger hook or heavier hook, something like this one here. Now, I'll show you, it's quite simple. Now I'm going to lead it, basically it's just to hold the bead as well when I'm tying. I'm just using a sticky back lead foil, and uh, my bigger scissors, I like to use the big scissors to do it. Just cut a wee piece off. Remove the back end and then you start at this point and then wind up towards the bead. Oops. This will just help hold the bead and add obviously a bit of extra weight. Uh, the bead I'm using is a 2.5mm tungsten. You could use a standard metal bead if you want, it's slightly lighter. Just trim this to get a bit of shape. Use the back of your nail to kind of round the lead so it looks a bit neater. It's fine. Now I need a, a small tag on this and I'm using a floss to do this. This is number 12. It's a Globrite floss. It's put onto my bobbin holder. Now I'm just going to quickly run it down covering the whole of the, the body and the lead. Covers really well. You can use it like a thread. Just remove the base piece there and then come round to this point. Now the tail, I'm going to use some Cock de Leon fibres or the whiten Cock de Leon which is from a, from a neck, uh, for my a cape sorry. Now the fibres are quite fine so don't be shy with the numbers. Just bring them 90 degrees from the stem and line them up. It's got a very, it's Cock de Leon that's normally used for obviously dry flies but it makes for a good nymph tail. Now, length of looking, not too long, it's enough that you can see the tail. For a small tag, now I'm going to go back a couple of turns first. I'm going to use the floss obviously as a tag, that's why I'm using it really. I'm going to wind it over a wee touch of super glue. This will protect it. And then come up to the point where the lead started, so I'm forming a Basically taper it on onto that. Show me the waist. I take it continue with the floss all the way back up. Then we change over to a normal thread. Now I'm just gonna use you could with a quite a few threads, I'm gonna use black, believe it or not. Just a uni AO in black. Because the thorax of this is really dark, I like a black thorax. Now you want to take this down, give you a, me a measure. That's where I want the thorax cover to start. For the body I'm using dyed lime green. This is peacock. This is, I've, I've used up the whole eye, I've got, so all I've got left. I'll give you an idea of the numbers I've tied. Now, you, these are well marked quills, so try and find the well marked ones if you can. You'll see that the herald's on one edge, one side and the other. There you go, is the, just, there's nothing on it. So what I'm going to do is wind down to round about, say, 2 or 3 mil from the, the tail, because this is my tag. Catch this on, with the herald at the bottom. You'll see as you wind up, it's easier to sort of control the turn as you wind up, the first turn anyway. Because you want the herald to be leading as it goes up. Now that's the body length. Now to protect peacock, I'm going to wind over some super glue. And this is a fully mill super glue, it's a, they call it the fishing super glue. It comes with the brush, so it's easy to apply. Now, as you bring this round, you want to have the leading edge of the herald going up the body, and you want to space it out so that you can see the, the quill itself. You'll see the quill there. I've used this body in many nymphs, and it's absolutely brilliant, so 
you'll not go far wrong with this. Different colours, but this lime green works extremely well, so you can then tie it off. I'm just going to break it away. Get the thread up, back down. Thorax cover, I'm going to use a peacock in orange. This is number 12. I want the peacock side to be showing. So we tie that with basically so you can see the orange. And so we bring it over the peacock shows. Now we just wind this up to the point where we want it to start. That's fine. Now for the body I'm using, I'm just gonna curl this with my nail to take it out of the way. I'm just using a kind of a, like a rabbit dubbin dyed black. You could use olive and such, but black works. I like the black. You want a sort of natural dubbing so you get a bit of leg from it. You don't need a hackle in this fly. And then we can lightly dub this on and I'm lightly dubbing it on so that I can get some of the guard hairs to spring out. You can see how they're going to spring out there. And then you can always take a thread through it just to hold it. Now probably as well what I'm going to do here is use my velcro, make a space for the thorax cover. Just bring it down either side and then we can catch this on. It's on the top, you want a couple of turns, fold it back, two or three more turns. And then what we do is put some super glue on the thread. We can either use varnish. I'm just gonna use the super glue. About a bit, maybe a centimetre or so, and then use the finish. And that will lock in those turns. Turn that away. Catch the edge of the tinsel. It'll tear. And see how it looks. Now you can leave it like that. It's fine. It's fine like that. Nothing wrong. But you can highlight the peacock with using a, a resin. Just make sure that stubbins out of the way. Plus it'll help to hold it together. So. It's amazing the difference this makes sometimes in these flies. And then set the resin. And there we are. Now that's a good bug. When things are quite tough at times, or in fast water, you want to obviously tie different sizes. This is a size 14. The, the bead could be a wee bit bigger, but I want to keep it a wee bit smaller than that. Now, I'm just going to sweep back some of the, this dubbing. Use the Velcro to do that. If some of the fibres too long, you can always pick them out. And there we are. You can see the body you get. You get a nice body. It works. So that's the main thing. So I hope you enjoyed that.